Hey guys, it's me Jacqueline for today's video. I have a spoiler free review for the Star Touched Queen and this is by Roshni Chashki. I want to thank Angelique over at St. Martin's Press for sending me this book my way. She is the marketing manager and honestly I am so incredibly thankful because this book was beautiful. Along with the book she also sent me some goodies. I got a bookmark, a book plate, and some flash tattoos. As you can see I decided to wear them and rep them because why not? If you follow me on Twitter, Goodreads, or Snapchat chat you would have seen that I have been raving about this book. I finished it last night and actually after I finished it I immediately reread it because I was just not over its beauty. This is one of my favorite books of this year, definitely top two, and it's actually one of my all-time favorite books. I'm adding it into that group. The Star Touch Queen is a standalone book but she is coming out with a companion novel next year which I am all about because I love this book so much so obviously I will be picking up the companion novel. Now what exactly is this book about is about a 17 year old girl named Maya and she is destined with a death horoscope. It features Indian mythology as well as Greek mythology in which we have a Hades and Persephone's vibe from this book. That's all I'm going to say for the summary. I think that's all you really need for the summary. I wouldn't exactly read up anything else for the summary because I think that's a good basis. I would just honestly jump into the book knowing that and you will be tugged into this awesome journey and honestly this book just takes you on such an amazing ride. I give this book a five to five stars. I am in awe with how brilliant of a writer Roshani Chashki is. I am just amazed by her talent. I cannot believe this is her debut novel. I know she has a few short stories. I literally stalked her on Goodreads. I was like, let me just see if she has any other work out. So I will actually be reading those short stories because her writing is spectacular. This world she created, the characters, everything. I am just amazed by how beautiful it truly is. It's a gorgeous cover, but the story inside is even more beautiful. I've been following her for a couple months now on Twitter and honestly before this book even came out I was kind of obsessed with her. She is such a beautiful human being inside and out so I was just avidly anticipating this book. If you saw my most anticipated book releases for 2016 you would have saw this book in that video and I just have to say I am so happy at the fact I do love this book so much because I want to support her because she is such an amazing writer. Her talent is just unreal and she deserves every rave review because this book and just the way Way she's going to go in the future I just know she's going to have such an amazing writing career so why exactly do I love this book so incredibly much number one the writing the writing is something so special I honestly have not read such beautiful writing like this in a really long time I was blown away by it and even though I knew a lot of people loved this book I saw a lot of great reviews I didn't actually read the reviews to see why they loved it but just saying guys the writing in this I am just like flabbergasted at how talented she truly is and I keep saying that because I cannot believe this is her debut novel. It is just insane to me that this is the first novel she's bringing out. For a little preview they actually gave me a book plate. I'm just going to read this quickly. I probably sound horrible reading this but hopefully you kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek of her writing. It says the stars filled with cold light and secrets held no emotion in their fixed language of fate. Emotion belonged to life, a thing the stars could never experience. I, not the starlight, shaped my decisions. Just... Number two is characters. You guys know characters are such a huge thing for me and I love these characters. I love the female protagonist, I love the love interest, I loved how everyone connected, and I honestly felt that these characters were so real, so rounded, and just so raw, and I loved and appreciated who they were. And honestly, I cannot believe this is only a standalone because I want more from them. With characters comes the relationships, and I have to say, Maya with her love interest, I am obsessed with them. Sincerely obsessed with them. The chemistry they have had, the relationship they had felt so realistic and so effortless. It was amazing and so wonderful to read about. Wasn't insta love at all for me. I felt everything happened just happened and it was supposed to happen and it just felt so right. Also this book really held my attention. I read this in one sitting and then I reread it right after in one sitting. So I pretty much had a full like 12 hours with this book. 
sincerely say that I am obsessed with it and I cannot wait to reread it because this is going to be a book I reread over and over again. Like I said before, this is supposed to be a retelling, but she actually takes the mythology elements and twists them and makes them her own, which I found so incredibly wonderful. It was amazing to see how she kind of fit everything into it, but still made it unique and awesome to read. Like I said, I had such high expectations for this book and this book surpassed those expectations. This book had so many different layers and I feel like the content of it is so special and so magical. I would recommend if you don't have this on your TBR to please put it on your TBR. I want to talk about this book with other people because it is so beautiful and I just... I can't keep all these emotions inside me. So if you have read this book, let me know down below in the comments what you thought of it. And if you haven't, let me know what you thought of my review. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.